In this lesson, I want to talk about a typical live wire CRUD. So create and edit and view the table. And quite often people create separate components for create and edit forms. So here's an example table. And for adding the product, people create the create component live wire. And then for editing the product, they create specific edit component for live wire. Although the forms are very similar or often identical. So in this video, I will try to refactor the existing two components into one. So let's take a look at the initial scenario. So we have the create component of Livewire for product create with these properties. So every product has name, description and price and also belongs to many relationships to categories and tags. Also, we get all the categories and the tags from the database to view that in the select in the drop down, then when submitting the form, we validate it according to the rules of name, description, price, and all of that. And then we create the product and attach belongs to many records. Pretty simple, right? In the edit component, it's similar, but with a few differences. First, and the main difference is by this time, we do have product already. So we initialize the edit component, passing the product object. Then in the mount, we actually mount that. And in the submit, the difference is that we don't create a new product, we just save the existing one. And the validation rules also use product as object. So product name, we wire model to product dot something. And in the edit blade, that's exactly what is happening. We wire model to product description, product price, and product name. And in the create blade, we wire model to just name, description, and price. So this is the initial scenario. Now, how can we make it into one component? Let's take a look at the blade files, non live wire blade files, where those components are called. So, live wire product edit has product as a parameter in the edit blade, and in the create blade, we just call product create. What if we just call product edit but not pass the product? What happens then? Let's take a look at the edit component. So, the amount of product is happening, but since nothing is passed, what Livewire would do is not assign that to null. It will actually create a new product object, empty object. Let's DD this product and see what values we have. So if we click edit, if we zoom it in a bit, attributes, we have the object of product class with some attributes, right? But if we click add product now, which is using the edit Livewire component, but without product passed, we have also product class object, but just without any attributes, which means that we can proceed using this product with all the syntax below, like this product save, this line would create a new record in the database. And also we can use product dot something dot notation and wire model to product dot something, it just would have empty values from the beginning. Let's try it out. So in the edit, we don't have DD anymore. And let's refresh the page. Let's zoom out to normal zoom. We have the form. Let's fill it in with some data, whatever name and the price category. These are belongs to many relationships. We save and we do have that new record with belongs to many relationship included. And if we click edit, we do have that data in all the fields. So that refactoring that I've mentioned in the beginning of this video, all it was, was using the edit component instead of create in here. It's just the question of passing or not passing the mounted object and the magic of Livewire that would transfer this one, not into null, but into a new product class object with empty attributes. If you type hinted here and then here in the class, Livewire will do all the magic. 